is how I play the game! That is an epic fucking intro, dude. And I have to warn everyone, warning, what you may see right now is going to be absolutely disgusting. Sound good? Sounds good to me. Right. Oh. Oh. Yeah, I got him. I can't. Wow, finally. Oh, hi, everyone. How you doing? Didn't see you come in. Welcome to the Level 1 Podcast. DSP here. Sorry, I was busy spending hundreds of thousands of dollars doing crazy pulls in a mobile game. But, uh, you know, it's time now to start streaming for the week. So how is everyone doing? I hope you're doing well. Here we go. Here we go. Let's get some pulls. Come on. Pull the gotcha. Pull on my gotcha. Come on. You know we got to get some pulls. I want to say it was like 10 or 15 bucks. And I, I picked it up and I'm like, man, this looks cool. This cool ghost lamp from Pac-Man. Like, man, that would actually probably be a good addition to, to the setup. People have been complaining that they don't want the box for my headphones up here. And I, I was like, man, I wish I could get this, but, you know, I'm, I'm trying not to spend any money. And Kat's like, you know what? I, I get, you know, I'll get it for you this week. And I was like, oh, that's nice. <clears throat> Considering that literally every, do every dollar of my money has to go towards bills and errands and stuff. Um, you know, she was like, oh, I'll... I'll actually get it for you as, a, as a something nice to add to the to your setup for this week. Because it's not on sale, too. It wasn't expensive. Like I said, it was like 15 bucks. Hopefully later this year, things get better for me financially to a point where maybe we can run a marathon or a special fundraising event. And if we do that, then I can raise funds to get a new PC. Once I get a new PC, then I can try to get a new camera. And that would make stuff like this look so much better. Ayudame! Ayudame! Ayudame, po -po -po! Ladies and gentlemen, this week, is the same as every month, the tightest week financially for me of the entire month. Here's why, typically, the first into the second week of every month is the tightest, okay? Because I have two big bills that clear this week. One, it's my internet bill, and one are the dues for my home here, okay? They're both due by the end of the week. Essentially, one is due, like, on the 9th, and then one usually clears around the 10th to 11th, all right? But, <clears throat> not only do I have to have enough money for both of those, which, by the way, together total almost $1,000, then on top of that, I actually need to have money for a day off next week to go grocery shopping, to run errands, etc. Okay? So, as I've explained to you guys many times, the way that things work around here, once a month, I get a big payment from YouTube. That payment pays the important big bills, like my mortgage, my car payment, my health insurance, my car insurance, the utilities, etc., etc., etc. Okay? <clears throat> that payment usually comes in within two weeks. It's completely gone. It goes into all the bills, and it's just, you know, and that's it. That's the truth. It's gone. All right? There's nothing I can do about that. That's life, okay? My day-to-day -day spending is tips here on the streams, okay? Literally every dollar that I raise in tips is what I use on my day off or in between to pay these other bills. So, right now, this week, all right, is an insanely important week. Your support with tips is critical for me to be able to afford my bills and have a day off next week. My day off next week is scheduled for Thursday again, just so everyone knows. Same day next week as usual, Thursday. That might change, by the way, because I think my wife made a few appointments coming up for later this week. During this six-day streaming week, I need to have enough for those bills and my day off. Right now, I have some money, all right, that I have from left over from the last couple of weeks. It's not enough to even pay just the bills, all right? So, if you like my content, if you enjoy my streams, if you want to support it in the strongest way possible, please tip me, all right? Tips. Tips, tips, tips. Tip me, tip me, tip me. Please, if you can, please tip me. Please you can please tips 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 hey guys tip me tip me tip me tip me tip me just tip me tip me tip me tip me tips 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 i don't want to be mr tips i really need the help this week to pay these bills okay like i said right now i have money i've been saving for over a week and because there were very slow days this is the problem when you get a streak of slow days it really screws things up and what ended up happening was i had like four to five slow days in a row when it came to tips then all of a sudden we had a few good days, right? We had like the marathon and it was like two or three good days and then it slowed down again. And now it's like, see, that hurts because those are days that normally if they were good days, I would have had way more right now to pay these bills this week. And now I'm not even, I, the thing is in a typical week, 
I like thinking, hey, if I raise enough on streams, I can have a nice day off. This week, it's if I have a good day or, you know, good days on streams, I'm not even guaranteed to have a good day off because I still gotta pay these bills first. It sucks. Oh my god, he's drinking gin. Yes. Mmm. Mmm. Absolutely zero dollars of anything that you contribute to my streams this week is going to a mobile game. Zero. All right? As I said, do I play mobile games? Yes, I actually play a couple of them casually to kill some time every once in a while or if I'm relaxing and, you know, Kat's playing a video game and I'm watching her play, maybe I'll open up a mobile game and do a little bit of grindy gameplay or whatever. I am not anything like these idiots say. I'm not spending significant amounts of time and money in these fucking things. They're just meant to be time wasters for me. That's the best way to approach mobile gaming, in my opinion, is to use it as a time waster, a time killer, okay? So, do not listen to these idiots who are going to say, Oh, Phil says he needs tips this week, but he's lying. He's not for bills because he's going to fucking pull in mobile games. They're dunces. And I'm just, you know, that's how I'm going to approach it from now on. Just laugh at them, make jokes about it. It's just really stupid. I'm tired of the nonsense, okay? And I, I don't want anyone to feel like, oh, man, maybe, you know, oh, God, if so many people say it on the internet, it must be true. It's the same idiots. They just regurgitate the same shit in a circle, okay? I don't do that. I don't. I'm fucking, I need money for bills this week. I need the help. If I don't get enough tips this week to pay my bills, I'm in fucking trouble. I don't even know what I'm going to do, all right? So... Thank you in advance, again, to anyone who supports the streams, and please tip if you can. I really appreciate it. All right. Give me your money. Give me, give me, give me. Give me money, money. Look at this. <laughs> Look at this. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. You ready? I'll read this, too. I'll entertain it. What did I say about they just moved the goalpost? Okay, so here we go. You said you don't use They Call Me DSP on mobile games. Your Marvel Future Fight account is named exactly that. It's easily a $3,000 account. Can you explain that? Okay, sure. Let's see. Marvel Future Fight, a game that I can't even tell you the last time I played it. Because, Jesus Christ. In fact, the last time I booted the game was probably, and I mean this, probably like 2017. All right. Now, I'll be honest with you, I don't even remember if that was my account name in there or not. <clears throat> I'll be honest, I don't. I haven't booted it in so long. I couldn't even tell you if that was my account name in the game or not, all right? That was a game that I played for many years. I actually talked about it way long ago on my streams, <clears throat> and I told you guys the reason I liked that game was because that game played like Marvel Ultimate Alliance. Now, here's the hilarious part about this nonsense. These idiots think that they can judge psychically how much money someone is spending on a game. How do you do that exactly, right? How would you know? <laughs> I'm just, you know, uh, listen, that game is very old. I know I, that's one of the mobile games that I was playing a very long time ago. <clears throat> you know, over five years ago was when I was active in the game. Back then, did I spend some money on that? Of course, I'm sure I did. I told you guys I used to. When, I, I would say out of all the games that I used to play back in the day, probably the one I spent the most money on was WWE Supercard. And then, like I said, I was actually spending money on Dokkan Battle as well. Between those two games, I was spending money on mobile games for sure. That was a long time ago. Okay, um, but listen, could I tell you, you know, could I tell, here you go, listen to this. Oh, I play Marvel Future Fight. I know how much premium cards and CTP cost with drop rates. Premium cards and CTP cost. I don't even know what that means. I really don't even know. Again, then again, I haven't played the game in five years. I don't even know what that means. <laughs> you know, <laughs> it's, it's, it's stupidity. Did I, again, I, I've been transparent with you guys as much as I can. Yes, I played mobile games in the past. Yes, I still casually play them now, okay? But I don't spend anything like these idiots are saying. Right now, I'm spending zero. I have no money to spend on mobile games. In the past, yes, I spent. Did you think I ever spent $40,000 to $100,000 on mobile games in the past? No. It's fucking bullshit. This guy says, oh, did you spend $3,000 on the account? I don't know. I would hope not. I seriously would hope not. But I'm telling you, I did spend money on mobile games in the past. I admit it. That's how I know how addictive they can be. That's how I know how bad they are for people to get caught in that kind of addictive nature. I remember playing WWE Supercard. This is many years ago. What, 2016 maybe? Maybe 2015? And I remember playing this game. And it was an event. Yes, here we go. Ready for the meme? The Hulk Hogan card was in it, right? It was a legendary old school back in the day, 1980s Hulk Hogan card. And the only way to get it 
was to play for like no exaggeration like 24 hours you had to grind in this game and the only way to keep playing it was to keep spending because you would run out of the credits or currency to play these matches in the event to earn the card so you had to play for two hours oh you ran out buy more oh play for two more hours you ran out buy more so it was like ridiculous ridiculous amounts of money i know it was it was probably hundreds of dollars for this event i earned the card and I earned the card, right? I'm, I'm, like, proud of myself. Oh, my God, I actually earned this card. And, wow, it was very hard to do. I'm one of the few people in the game who even earned it. I think it was only, like, 20 people in the whole game who had the card or whatever. Oh, my God, he's drinking gin. Gin is great. <laughs> okay. And I can tell you exactly what happened. Immediately after I earned that card, within one week, they announced we're rebooting the game. The card is now going to essentially be way reduced in value because all the new cards are now going to be more powerful than the old one. Okay. <clears throat> so I'm like, wait a minute, let me get this straight. So, I grinded in this game for excessive amounts of time, right? I spent money to get this because they, they promised this was a special reward goal, like, of the, of the game. of the game. You're going to earn this special reward card of Hulk Hogan, one of my favorite wrestlers from back in the day, right? And immediately after earning him, within one week, they tell you the card's basically almost valueless because we're rebooting the game with everything more powerful now. And it's like, so this is so long ago, and it blew my mind, and I was like, dude, this is one of the problems with these games, is I was, you know, I was totally into it, I was addicted to it, I was playing it non-stop, overnight, grinding, grinding, grinding to get this fucking thing, I get it, and they screwed me over, they literally screwed me over, okay, so, I'm like, wow, <laughs> right, and this is so fucked up, that I got so b bought into it, and so, you know what I'm saying, so fucking over the top, addicted to it. Now, but like I said, this is a long time ago, and since then, that was basically when I learned my lesson. I was like, there's not no reason to really be addicted to doing this shit, because all it is, it's a time and money pit. You're gonna spend excessive amounts of time and excessive amounts of money trying to earn anything in these games, alright? Like I said, the one other game ever since Supercard that I know I did spend some money on was Dokkan Battle, where <clears throat> I really like Dragon Ball, and I used to do the pulls and stuff to try to get some of the rare characters. And I, if I remember correctly, the time when I, I dropped the game entirely was... When they introduced these cards, I think they were called limited run card, LR cards or something like that. And so when they introduced those, basically they were game-breaking cards. And if you didn't have them, all right, essentially you would lose no matter what. You couldn't win the, the game. In the tournaments and stuff, you just needed these cards. And But they, they weren't easy to get. <clears throat> they had to keep spending, spending, pulling, pulling. It's like, so that I dropped that. And now again, that was like six years ago, something like that, that I dropped. I'm trying to think, five or six years ago. <clears throat> okay. So, yeah. It's so stupid. I'm leaning into the meme here at this point. If they want to joke about it, I'll make jokes about it every fucking day. Oh, All right? Zero of anything that I make is going towards mobile games. Okay? Zero. Literally zero. I need to pay my bills this week. So if you can support the streams, please tip if you can. Don't listen to their, their insane nonsense conspiracy theory documentary oh, it's just so hilariously stupid these idiots spend so much time on this and it's all fucking wrong it's literally all falsified or spun in a way like i said they start with this little nugget and then they keep adding the breading on the outside of the nugget and that little chicken nugget becomes a giant boulder of oh, when the only thing that was true was this tiny little piece in the middle no everything i say obviously is a lie professor q did a two dollar super chat and says when won't you ever need extra help? This is getting old. I didn't say I need extra help. I said, for those who are contributing this week, anyway, if you can, please tip. Yes, I appreciate all contributions, but I need to pay these bills this week. This is getting old? Yeah, no shit. It's called fucking life, genius. It's called, hey, this is reality. I don't want to be in this reality. I wish that it was a better situation. That's what happens when you have so many people trying to destroy your reputation publicly on the internet with slander and lies for so many years. It means I can't get other alternate kinds of fund funding. Right? I can't. I can never. I will never get a sponsorship. I'll never have a partnership. I'm relying on crowdfunding. All right? So, you want to know what actually keeps me in this situation? People like you, who just want to talk all day. Yeah. People like you who want to talk are the reason why I can't get out of this rut I'm in, so thanks for nothing. Well, I think I'm toxic now. Yep, I'm toxic. There's still this back here. And it's still in the back of my neck, the back of my head, the back of my mind, and it's always telling me. It's WWE Champions time. I love it. I love it. Is, is a mobile game addict. Phil has indoctrinated children who send him money. Blatantly milking for money. It's a money pit. It's gone. Just gone like that. In an instant. Fucking gone. I just care about money. That I just can't help it. I eBay. 
Contributions are mandatory, but I need your help. I am appealing directly to you. No decency, no respect, no common sense, no fucking maturity. It's the guy who just doesn't get reality. <laughs>